ground sila that or downloads and download the stable version this stable 267 7 CPU and in my case AMD 64 I saw the image and repository auto download. Okay, now it's downloading. Okay, this is the file Clonezilla Live 267 AMD64. Insert the memory, the USB drive. Okay, is this. Uh, E okay E and use universal USB installer yes I agree select clone Silla and browse the image, this Clonezilla Live 267, AMD 64 open, E. And if you want, this is optional, but I recommend format drive, FAT32 and create, yes. Okay, copy down, process is complete, process is complete, close. Okay, this is the drive. You will have these files. Okay, these are the drives. I will insert the drive for Clonezilla and boot from USB drive. Okay, wait a moment. And now select the first option, Clonezilla. Live default settings. And English, my language, keep the default keyboard. And start Clonezilla. Okay, and you can select device to device to clone from SD card to SD card. Okay, device to device, but a very good option is device to image. I will use this. Device is the SD card and image is a file. Okay, and it's very useful. 
device to image from SD card to a file. Okay, select uh, now. You need to uh, before cloning, you have to assign where CloneZilla image will be saved. Okay, and will be saved and will be saved on local device. And you choose local device, the first option. Okay, select and uh, this will be my local device, this uh, drive with 32 gigabytes. Okay, very good. Select that and press enter to continue. And now you have here my uh, hard disks. Okay, these are my hard disks. And I will insert the USB drive. Okay, first the the USB drive uh, for this is the SD card from Raspberry Pi. Okay, I will insert this this uh, SD card. Okay, and insert. Very good. And uh, wait a moment. Okay, and there is a USB card reader fifteen gigabytes. SDD. Okay, device uh, SDD, USB card uh, 15 gigabytes, the Raspberry Pi SD card. Okay, SDD. Okay, and now uh, insert the destination. Okay, the you will save the image here. Uh, I will insert this another side here and uh, wait a moment. There is okay SD device SD data traveler and look at here 30 gigabytes. 30 gigabytes you will save the image here uh, image will be stored here okay so you have SD card and the uh, destination is another USB drive and control control C to to close and Wait a moment. Uh, okay, now uh, select the SD. This is the destination, the 30 gigabytes uh, where image will be stored. Select this 30 gigabytes drive. Okay, SD. Okay, select this, enter, and here, uh, press tap, tap, and down, enter, down, and press enter to continue, but you can see here the, okay, the source SD, size 30 gigabytes, Okay, press enter to continue and select beginner and look at this. Uh, save disk, okay, save the entire disk, not a partition, not partition, save entire disk, save disk, the first option. 
Okay, the first option. Okay, enter uh, now. Set the name of the of the file of the image. Okay, I will use this name. Okay. Enter. Okay, and now choose the SD card from Raspberry Pi. It is the third option SDD, 15 gigabytes, the SD card, the source. USB card and uh, 15 gigabytes. Okay, enter. And now select the compression option. Choose the compression Z1P, the first option. Okay, and now uh, choose if you want to check and repair the file system. Okay, and uh, use the first option, skip checking, and use the first, okay, enter, and now, yes, check, and after the image is saved, do you want to check, yes, the first option, not problem, and do you want to encrypt the image, Okay, you can use the first, not encrypt, or the second, encrypt with password, but I will use the first, not encrypt. Okay, and now, action to perform when everything is finished. Okay, select, uh, in my case, I will use the shutdown option, the last option, when all is finished. Okay, enter. And Enter to continue. Are you sure? Yes. Enter. Okay. Look at this, finish it and shut down in three, two, one. Okay, insert the drive. Now you have the image. This is the file. It's a directory with this this content. And remember this name. Okay, now uh, I will insert again the Clonezilla um, boot from this USB drive from Clonezilla boot. Okay, the first option, Clonezilla Live, the four settings. Okay, wait a moment. Now, the language, English, uh, keep the keyboard, enter, and start Clonezilla. The first option, enter, and in this case, select device to image. Okay, device to image. 
the first option, okay? Device to image or image to device, okay? In this case, image to device, first option. Okay, and now where is the device, local device? Okay, it's enter, enter to continue. Okay, uh, these are my uh, hard disks. And you, this, uh, this is the image placed in this uh, USB drive, 32 gigabytes. Okay, so insert this uh, USB drive. Okay, okay, place it ready and wait a moment. Okay, this is the device where image is stored, where image is placed. When uh, this is 30 gigabytes uh, SDD, 30 gigabytes, okay. And data traveler, 30 gigabytes where image is placed. And now a new SD card. The same or a new SD card placed on the, on the computer and now wait a moment. This uh, can be a new SD card or the same SD card. And wait a moment. Then ready, SD. USB card uh, 15 gigabytes. This is uh, a new, uh, in my case, a new SD card, and I will clone SD, and you have SDD and SD. Okay. 15 gigabytes, and okay, and Control C to close this. Wait a moment. Okay, and now select the, the device. Okay, and look at this. Uh, now we need to mount the device. So that we can read or save okay in this case uh, read from sdd 30 gigabytes where image is placed where image is stored the 30 gigabytes the 30 gigabytes drive okay enter and now this is the name of the image okay is placed in this uh, in this USB drive, okay. This is the name. Please uh, recognize it automatically. Done. Press Enter to continue. Okay. Now beginner. The first option, okay, and now you will uh, select a restore disk, okay, this, the third option, restore disk, okay, restore an image to local disk, okay, from image to local disk, from image to SD card. Okay, from image to SD card, enter and okay, choose the image file to restore. Okay, this is the image, this is the name of the image. Okay, 
there is only one image, enter and wait a moment. Okay, choose the target, okay, the destination. And is this uh, USB, 15 gigabytes USB SD card? Okay, then yes, check the image. Okay, and the action to perform when everything is finished, use the last option shut down in my case. Enter to continue. And wait a moment. Enter to continue. Okay, check it successful. Enter to continue. And are you sure? Yes, enter. Again, are you sure? Yes, enter. Okay, and uh, wait. And now shut down in four, three, two, one. And now this uh, SD card should be placed in the Raspberry Pi device. Okay, insert the SD card, the new SD card, or restore it or clone it as the card. Okay. Wait a moment. And okay, and now you can see the green indicator is uh, the boot. Okay, it's working very good.